All right, so you're gonna take your synchronizer and your bar, put the synchronizer in the small hole. The big hole goes with the bar on the belt guard. Stick it on nice and snug. Then you're gonna plug the synchronizer into the motor. Before you do that, you gotta take the cap off. It'll be the only one on there. This plug will have four pans and a groove or a slot. And then the plug inside here will have a groove. So it'll only go in one way. Push it in. You know, take that nut and tighten it down. Okay. Be sure your belt isn't rubbing the cord. Be sure you secure the belt away, the cord away from the belt. Yep. Now you got to turn your. What about tightening those screws? Oh, we got to turn it on. Turn the synchronizer on. Got to. So you'll turn your motor on. You'll press P and S at the same time. Now go to N zero. You'll press the plus to go to N four. Then you'll press S. It's already on, but to turn it off or on, you press the plus and minus. Once you do that, you'll press S again, and then P. You have to do that pretty quick, because if you don't, it'll go back to home screen. Now we're going to set your synchronizer. So we got to set your take up at the top dead center. Make sure it's at the very top. And you'll come over here to your synchronizer and turn it with the screws loose until your light comes on red. Keep turning. Now it's red. So you'll tighten your synchronizer down. Once you tighten that, you can go ahead and tighten your bar down. Make sure it stays snug. So it's nice and tight, nice and snug. You have something to tie your cord up to. Get it out of the way. All right, to test it and make sure it's working. You just tap the pedal and the needle will go down into the down position every time. And when you're finished sewing, you'll press back on the pedal, press down here, and then your needle will go all the way back up. Just like that.